Welcome to the latest video here on YouTube, courtesy of Z Code System. Drew here, great to have you back here with us for our latest video today, because we're going to be talking about the upcoming matches in the English Premier League taking place on Friday, January the 21st and January the 22nd and 23rd. So we hope you guys enjoy these picks that we give you. We're going to look at three big games coming up this weekend in the English Premier League featuring, well, six of the biggest teams in England. Now, of course, right in front of you is the Z Code System blog. You can go over there every day. Some of the great tips and picks that we put up there for you to check out. We've got some picks for the NHL and as well as the NBA up there and some NFL playoff picks for some games coming up shortly. And right in front of you, you can see there from January the 13th, we've got the top systems to follow in 2022 so you can win big. Definitely check those out so you can get the latest systems that we have posted about to help you make great profits this year. All right, guys, let's head over to the Soccer Buddy tool to take a look at three big games coming up this weekend in the English Premier League. All right, so we've got our first game coming up this weekend, and it's a Friday night fixture that is going to be going on at Vicarage Road in Watford as Watford take on Norwich City. Now, as you can see there, we have our, our pick for um, uh, courtesy of the Soccer Buddy tool, I should say, the score prediction of 2-1 to one, uh, in Watford's favor. Now, these two teams played earlier this season at Kira Road with Watford coming away with a victory. Now, this is a big six-point match between these two teams as they are both fighting relegation. We've got Norwich City, who are 18th currently on 13 points, and we've got Watford, who are 17th on 14 points. Just one point separates these two teams. If Norwich City were to get a win, they would, re they would emerge from the relegation zone but as the soccer buddy tool is saying it's going to be a Watford win and I'm going to back that because I think Watford are going to pick up a win over Norwich City and pull four points away from the Canaries now Watford they're coming off of a draw last weekend to Newcastle United 1-1 while Norwich City got a shock win 2-1 against Everton I think that's going to be their last win for a little while as the Canaries struggle at Vicarage Road this weekend again 2-1 to Watford is our total score prediction, courtesy of the Soccer Buddy tool. I like that. Now let's take a look at Saturday's games, or at least one game specifically, that I've picked out for you today. Okay, so on the Soccer Buddy tool, we've moved over to Saturday's games, and as you can see there, you're getting a little free, uh, little free sneak peek at the Soccer Buddy tool and the score predictions and predictions and picks for these games, courtesy of the Soccer Buddy tool. But I'm going to narrow in on that West Ham versus Manchester United game, which is going to take place at Old Trafford. West Ham went to Old Trafford earlier this season in the Carabao Cup, and they claimed a 1-0 win. So West Ham will have plenty of confidence that they can go back to Old Trafford and pick up a victory against the Red Devils. But can they do it? Now, Manchester United did win in the league earlier this season in London 2-1 uh, in a game that saw them come from behind. Now, West Ham did have a chance to uh, level the score in second half stoppage time, but Mark Noble missed a penalty, uh, allowing Manchester United to win 2-1. Now, the Red Devils come into this game on the back of a 3-0 win against Brentford in midweek. It was a, a big win, and the Red Devils have, even though they've not been playing very well, they're coming in uh, unbeaten in five of their last six games. Their only loss was a 1-0 home loss to Wolverhampton Wanderers. Uh, now, to be honest, uh, in three of their, in, excuse me, in one of their last three games, only ended in wins. Uh, they have lost, drawn, and won in their last three games in the Premier League. Now, West Ham are coming off of a 3-2 loss to Leeds United at home. Uh, it was a game in which Leeds United really outplayed the Hammers. Now, the problem with the Hammers is a lack of squad depth, and they are going to be reigniting their Europa League campaign coming up shortly, and uh, the lack of squad depth could really be a, a problem for David Moyes. Uh, the Hammers are playing well, though. They are currently in fourth place and hoping to make the Champions League for the first time ever. Uh, they are just two points above Manchester United, who are seventh. Now, the Red Devils could move into the top four this weekend with a win and results elsewhere going their way. They'll need West Ham, Tottenham, and Arsenal all to drop points, uh, enabling them to move into the top four, which could happen. Now, the Soccer Buddy tool has Manchester United winning this game 2-1, and I'm going to have to back this one as well. The Red Devils are playing well enough, but not great, uh, under Ralph Ranick. And I think they're going to pick up a win over a West Ham team that uh, I think are going to fall out of the top four as the season progresses, especially when that Europa League starts back up again. All right, so we're picking Manchester United. 
I'm agreeing with the Soccer Buddy Tool 2-1 to win at home against West Ham this weekend. All right, let's take a look at a game from Sunday that I've pinpointed, and we will take a look at Chelsea hosting Tottenham Hotspur. Okay, so we've got the picks there, the predictions up for you right there. Uh, four games going on on Sunday, so you get them all right there in front of you. And we've got Spurs taking on Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Now, this is the fourth time these teams have already played this season. Uh, they played in the league with Chelsea winning 3-0. They played in the Carabao Cup semifinals twice uh, with Chelsea winning at home 2-0 and then going to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and winning 1-0. So these teams have played three times already with Chelsea not conceding a goal to Spurs. This is going to be a tough one for Tottenham Hotspur. Yes, they are unbeaten in their last six games in the Premier League, and they're coming off of a fantastic win on Wednesday night. They were 2-1 down in second half stoppage time. And they scored twice, uh, I believe it was in the 95th and 97th minutes of that game, to win against Leicester City away. Now they go to Chelsea, and Chelsea are coming off of a 1-1 draw on Tuesday with Brighton. And um, Chelsea, not necessarily in the greatest form right now going into this game, but they are playing a Tottenham Hotspur team who they have dominated uh, this season and in their last 11 fixtures in all competitions, Chelsea have not lost to Spurs in 11 straight matches in all competitions. Going to repeat that. Chelsea have not lost to Spurs in their last 11 games in all competitions. Now, Chelsea are third currently in the Premier League. They're really just battling Liverpool for that second place uh, spot because, to be honest, Chelsea and Liverpool are well off the pace for the league title and Manchester City are likely going to just lift this title unless something Epic happens in which they fall away. Uh, Chelsea lost last week in 1-0 to Manchester City away. Um, Spurs, they're battling for that fourth place position. They're one point away from fourth place, one point back of West Ham. And, well, with West Ham playing Manchester United on Saturday, uh, Spurs could move into the top four with a win against Chelsea. But, as a soccer buddy score prediction says, Chelsea are going to pick up a 2-1 win against Tottenham Hotspur this weekend. Now, I think Chelsea are going to win this game. I don't see Spurs uh, beating Chelsea, especially with Chelsea's great head-to-head -head record against Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, with that said, I'm not sure I'd totally agree with that 2-1 scoreline because Chelsea have not conceded a goal to Spurs this season. But let's have a little caveat to that. Chelsea are coming off of a 1-1 draw with Brighton. Chelsea have conceded goals recently, six in their last six games. And I think Spurs could at least get a goal in a very close game. Uh, we see a halftime score prediction of 2-0 to Chelsea with Spurs pulling a goal back in the second half. You know what? That's not too bad of a shout on that one. And I think Chelsea are going to pick this win up. Uh, and, you know, I'm going to go ahead and say 2-1 to one, over 2.5 goals in this game. All right, guys. So those are my picks for this week's English Premier League matches. I picked out three, but you've seen the picks there on the Soccer Buddy tool for quite a few more. And if you like what you see... You can go over to Z Code System and sign up today so you can get your soccer picks every day from the Soccer Buddy tool. Now, keep in mind, this is just the English Premier League that we're covering here. You can get picks for all the other leagues that we cover at Z Code System, whether you are into La Liga or Serie A or even the Chilean Premier League. You can get picks there. Now, I've been teasing for the last week or so that we're going to be covering the Africa Cup of Nations some more uh, coming up. We've already covered it to start with. Uh, you can go back here on our YouTube channel to find those out. I'm going to be coming to you soon with a video before the round of 16 kicks off as the knockout stages come. But right now, we've got the English Premier League games coming to you this weekend, and our video here uh, will give you, and our video gives you those picks for these games coming up. So guys, thanks for watching. Please like this video because that helps us out greatly. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't and get those notifications turned on so you know every time we post a video here at Z Code System. And of course, comment below. Let us know who you're betting on this weekend in the English Premier League. All right, guys, have a great weekend. Good luck with all your picks and your bets. And I will see you here next time on Z Code System.